Good day, viewers. Welcome back to Alphatic Teaches. Today's class will be based on chemistry and a continuation of IUPAC nomenclature. So today we want to look at how to name organic compounds. So the first one we're going to be looking at is inorganic acids. What are inorganic acids? Inorganic acids are acids that are derived from mineral substances. Inorganic substances like the first 20 elements. Now, any substance that starts with hydrogen is an inorganic acid. It's an inorganic acid, or what we call mineral acid. For example, H2SO4, HCl, HNO3, H2CO3, H3PO4. All these acids start with hydrogen. They are called inorganic or mineral acids. Now, example one, give the IUPAC nomenclature of the following compounds. So these are the acids. I want to look at their names. Now, don't forget, we are already looking at finding oxidation number using our valency. The same way we solve that is the same way I'm going to solve this as well. So let's move on. The first one, we have H2SO4. Now the valency, what is the valency of hydrogen? If you look at our previous class, it's plus one. It has two, multiplied by two, plus, don't forget, we are, we are going to be looking at the center element. We call it X, plus the valency of oxygen is minus two, multiplied by this four, is equals to zero. It's equals to zero. Then, one multiplied by two, we have two, plus x, plus times minus, minus, two times four, eight, equals to zero. You collect like times, two minus eight, plus x, is equals to zero. Two minus eight, we have minus six, plus x, is equals to zero. So take this like this, s equals to plus six. Now, meaning that the oxidation number of sulfur is plus six in this compound. How do we name it? To name acid, you start from the back, that is, this four, from what we have done in our previous class, four means tetra, then this oxygen, we tend to ozo, sulfur, we tend to sulfate, so we have tetra, ozo, sulfate, cis, acid. Just before we move on to the solving of the second one, let's look at these uh, elements and how they change during naming. Oxygen, we change to ozu. Sulfur, change to sulfate. Carbon, changes to carbonate. Phosphorus, changes to phosphate. Nitrogen, we change to nitrate, and so on like that. Manganese, change to manganate, and so on like that. Now, the second one, we have H2CO3, H2CO3. So we have to find the oxidation state of the central element, which is carbon. And don't forget the valency of hydrogen is plus one, multiplied by two, then plus carbon, that is X, plus oxygen is minus two, that is valency, multiplied by three, then it will equal to zero. That is the sum total of the oxidation number will equal to zero. One times two, we have two plus x, plus times minus, minus 2 times 3, 6 equals to 0. Collect like 10, we have 2 minus 6 plus x is equals to 0. 2 minus 6 gives minus 4 plus x equals to 0. Take minus 4 to the right hand side, x equals to plus 4. Don't forget, for acid, you start naming from the back, why this 3 becomes what? Tri, ozo, carbonate, 4, Acid. So the H is acid. Try. Also, carbonate for acid. So the four will be in Roman figure. The next one we have H3PO4. We have to look for the oxidation state of phosphorus. So the valency of hydrogen is plus one multiplied by three plus phosphorus is X unknown, plus oxygen, minus two multiplied by four, in bracket equals to zero. One times three, we have three, plus S, 
plus times minus, minus 2 times 4, 8 equals to 0. So collect like 10, 3 minus 8 plus s equals to 0. 3 minus 8, we have minus 5 plus s equals to 0. Take minus 5 here, so we have x equals to plus 5. So from the back, we have 4 is tetra, also phosphate 5 acid. Tetra, also phosphate 5 acid. So the second part we're going to be looking at is inorganic salts. So in, the, in some classes to come, we are going to be looking at how to identify salts in chemistry. But before then, let's look at how to, uh, how to get the IUPAC name of inorganic salts. Example 2. Give the IUPAC nomenclature of the following compounds. The first one, CaCO3. So we have three elements here. We have calcium, carbon, oxygen. So to find the oxygen, to find the IUPAC name, you find the oxidation number of the central element first, which is carbon. So the oxidation number of calcium, which is the valency of calcium, is plus two. Then plus carbon is what we are looking for. Or no, let's call it X plus oxygen minus two multiplied by three is equals to zero. So we have two plus X plus times minus minus two times three is equals to zero. Collect like times two minus six plus S equals to zero. 2 minus 6, we have minus 4, plus S equals to 0. Take this here. So S, we gives plus 4. Now, to name a salt, is even from acid. You are going to start from the first element, and then you move backward. That is, Ca is calcium. Move backward. Try. This change to ozo carbonate. So, calcium, try, ozo carbonate, 4. Calcium, try, also, carbonate, four. So the next one is Na2CO3. So we have sodium, the valence of sodium is plus one, multiplied by two, plus carbon is X, plus oxygen, minus two, multiplied by three, is equal to 0. 1 times 2, we have 2, plus x, plus and minus, minus. 2 times 3, we have 6, is equal to 0. So collect like 10. 2 minus 6, plus x, is equal to 0. 2 minus 6, we have minus 4, plus x, is equal to 0. Take this way. So s, we equal to plus 4. So we have Na is sodium. So previously, they used to say 2 would become di, sodium. But now in modern chemistry, you don't need to put dye here. We say sodium tri also carbonate 4. Sodium tri also carbonate 4. Now, this guy will not put it as I said earlier on because they are just between first 20 elements. But if it is a transition element that normally have various oxidation states, we need to uh, to specify their oxidation state, their oxidation number. But in this case, sodium only possesses one oxidation number, which is plus one. So we move on. The third one, we still have three elements here, aluminum, sulfur, and oxygen. Now, valency of aluminum, that is the oxidation state, is plus three, that is the valency. It has two, multiplied by two, plus sulfur. All the elements in this bracket, they possess these three. So three belongs to sulfur, three also belongs to oxygen. So for sulfur, an unknown, let's say Y, multiply by these three, plus oxygen, minus two, it has four, times four, then it also possesses these three, multiply by three, all equals to zero. So three, three times two, we have six, plus Y times three, we have three Y, Plus and minus, minus. 2 times 4, we have 8. 8 times 3, we have 24. Is equals to 0. Collect like times. 6 minus 24 plus 3y is equals to 0. 6 minus 24 
we have eight, my minus 18 plus 3y equals to 0. So the known to the left, unknown to the right. So we have 3y is equals to plus 18. So since I'm looking for my y, I have to divide both sides by 3. So I have 3y is equal to plus 18 divided by 3 divided by 3. 3 goes here 1, 3 goes here 1. So y over 1 gives y equals to 3 here 1. 3 in 18, see, that is plus 6. Now, we want to give it the name. So this AL means aluminium. Then you move back. Aluminium, tetra, ozu, sulfate, 6. You might be wondering that, why not mentioning this 3? This 3 is the oxidation number. That's the valency of aluminium. It's the valency of aluminium. So that transfers to this plate. If you could recall in our previous class on how to write compound, aluminium want to join with sulfur. Let's quickly do that. Aluminium is having three plus. Sulfate is having two minus. So this is aluminium having three. Sulfate having two. So when you cross multiply, two will come for aluminium. We have Al2. Three will come for SO4. SO43. To differentiate this 4 and 3, you have to open back and close it. So which means the trick is actually coming from aluminium. So that is why in the naming, we don't need to name it. We're going to say aluminium, tetra, ozu, sulfate, the six that we got. Aluminium, tetra, ozu, sulfate, six. One figure four. K2CRO2O7. So don't forget, you have to find the oxidation state of the centered elements. So, valency of potassium is plus one, multiplied by the two. Plus chromium, let's call it Y, multiplied by two. Plus oxygen, minus two, multiplied by seven, is equals to zero. So we have one times two, we have two. Plus Y times two, two Y. Plus times minus, minus. 2 times 7, we have 14. is equals to 0. So we collect like time. We have 2 minus 14 plus 2y is equals to 0. 2 minus 14, we have minus 12 plus 2y is equals to 0. Take this to this side. So 2y is equals to plus 12. So we divide both sides by this 2. That is 2y is equals to plus 12 divided by 2. Divided by 2. 2 cancel 2. So y equals to 2 here 1, 2 here c. That is plus 6. Now what to name is? Now when we look at these elements, this chromium here is a transition element, which has more than one oxidation state. So to name it, we have potassium, potassium, hepta, ozo, di, chromate, 6. So potassium, potassium, Hepta, ozu, di, chromate, cis. So we put that dichromate to show the oxidation state of chromium in these states. So this is how to find the oxidation, the name of inorganic salt. I believe you enjoyed this class. If you really enjoyed it and you're a new member here, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. I see you in the next class. Thank you.